Hello everyone, Helen here. How are you today? I do hope you're okay. I'm fine. <laughs> and uh, sitting here all cosy in the house, so it's quite cold outside at the moment. So it's definitely putting me in the mood for winter. <laughs> and uh, this is actually the last podcast that I'm doing before Christmas. So not my last podcast, don't worry, um, but it is my last one before Christmas. So I've got quite a lot to pack into today. Well, I'm just going to chat about this and that to begin with. And I am going to take you into the kitchen for a little bit of baking. And I'm going to take you on a lovely day out that I had with my sister. Um, so more about that later. And also, I mustn't forget, I'm going to uh, do the prize draw for the... Well, I suppose a little surprise giveaway that I did uh, oh, three or four weeks ago. I can't remember when it was now, but I have done the, the prize draw. So I'll be able to announce those three lucky winners a little bit later on. Uh, but yes, chatting first. First of all, about my um, podcast that I made where I was showing you my very chaotic, untidy craft room. And I, I was just overwhelmed, but not in a bad way, with <laughs> with having so many helpful comments. And you'd think that might have just been a bit too much, but it wasn't. Ev everybody had something helpful to suggest and was either sympathising with me or um, just sort of encouraging me. Honestly, the comments were just wonderful and thank you to every single person who left a comment on that video. Um, I, I do quite happily sit amongst uh, yeah, mess and chaos <laughs> quite a lot of the time and it doesn't bother me but I, I just sometimes get to that point where it's just tipped the balance you know and I just think no I can't go on with it like this <laughs> and uh, but but making that podcast really helped me and I think it helped some of you as well from the comments that you left that it is kind of um, urged you on to getting a little bit of your mess that you might have had sorted out a little bit anyway the most helpful thing that I took on board was deciding to do my tidying in small chunks of time. And uh, that has made such a difference. So I've done that every day since I made that podcast uh, for, I think the first day I did, I set a timer for 10 minutes and that is all I did in that day. I just tidied for 10 minutes and there wasn't a huge difference obviously in that time but there was a little bit of a difference and the next day I set my timer for 15 minutes I decided 15 minutes was was might might be just just the right amount of time and and then I've done 15 minutes every single day occasionally I have got to the end of 15 minutes and thought no I'm fine here and set it for another 15 minutes uh, there was one day when I tried to set it for a third chunk of 15 minutes and I realised that was too much. I'd had enough, really. <laughs> but I really can start to tell the difference. And the the great benefit of doing it this way, apart from I'm more likely to get on and start it when I know I haven't got to do it for very long, um, is that I'm not creating a mess anywhere else in the house. And... I am just focusing on little areas or certain aspects each time. So I'm going to keep on with that. And it's already feeling much more comfortable to me in here. I, I don't mind the odd bit of clutter lying around. And obviously when you're crafting, you know, you do um, you, you do need things out. Um, it's no good. It would take so much longer if you had to put everything away at the end and get it out again and... Uh, so I'm happy with leaving things out. Yeah, some, sometimes I just, there's too much that I haven't put away and then it all builds up and gets a bit out of hand. <laughs> anyway, I will look forward to showing you a much more organised and, and actually I've been rethinking, uh, as I think I mentioned in that podcast, rethinking actually my crafting space uh, in that I think I would like my computer desk to uh, not have to share that with doing crafts on it. So I'm, I'm looking into having an extra surface 
an extra service to clutter up, yes, I know, but a service that is just specially for doing journaling and um, scrapbooks and things like that. So, so very, very big thank you uh, for anybody who helped me there. <laughs> um, and another, I've got more big thank yous to make, actually. And I just wanted to chat a little bit about Kofi. Um, and... I think in the first place, it was after um, the my 200th episode that ever such a lot of people very kindly uh, put a little donation into my Kofi account and, you know, and, and thanking me for all the all the podcasts that, that they enjoyed. And and so and I do have a lovely little trickle of uh, of those donations coming in uh, that the. You know, and so sometimes people say uh, for you and Phil to um, enjoy a treat when you're on in the camper van or, you know, or if you're thanking me for the camper van videos, then those those donations, I always write your name in the back of my camper van notebook that we take with us uh, on, our, on all of our trips just because, you know, there are things I might want to note down or I might have written a list of places of interest or whatever. So in, on the back page of that are all the donations that say, that have said, you know, you and Phil, treat yourself. So that's what those donations go to. But but um, other donations, uh, and especially, you know, when I had all of those, it was an extra amount that I had uh, when I did my 200th podcast. Um, I put all together and I decided to actually show you what I'd bought on this occasion. Well, I've actually used the money for three things, three treats for me, but which hopefully, uh, mostly, that you'll get a little bit of pleasure from as well, because I'll share what I'll share what they are. Um, well, first of all, it was a real treat, and that is a new project bag. I don't need another project bag. I haven't got loads of Christmas ones though and I was overjoyed when I was able to buy one of Paula from Stitched by Mrs D's reindeer bags. Oh, here it is. Maybe I'll put in a photo as well so you can get a really good look. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. The fur fabric that she's used is really, really soft. So it just, oh, it just feels lovely to hold. It's got the most beautiful Christmassy inner fabric. And I mean, this this reindeer is just adorable. What a lovely idea. Uh, I apparently have bought the one called Simon. <laughs> and, it, and it came with a little card inside saying um, that he was called Simon and that he doesn't like eating Christmas cake, but he'll eat anything else. So... <laughs> I just love it that Paula has given some kind of character to these uh, lovely bags as well. So, so thank you. If if you have made a donation, then you you might have helped pay for that. And there a thing here which, oops, I've never had before, and that is a crafty advent calendar. So here it is, and this is the Rikarumi crochet advent calendar for 2024 and which I think has got something to do with the gingerbread house um, I, I'm really excited about it um, I, I, as I say I haven't had one a thing like that before I've never had a yarny um, or crafty any kind of uh, crafty advent calendar before so I'm really looking forward to doing that so hopefully I can show you how I get on with that although I'm not giving my I'm not putting loads of pressure on myself I'm, I'll not enjoy it if I feel pressured to keep up with each day but I will open it each day and see what there is to do and see what I can get done amongst all the other hundred of th hundreds of things on my list <laughs> Um, so yeah so thank you again I'm really happy that I was able to buy that and the final thing that I've bought which um, I used Kofi donations for was something I've been wanting to do for ages and that is another um, wild ink art class I don't know if you've heard this is a lovely lovely lady called Lucia Layfield 
and she does online art classes, uh, always around a particular theme. And I've done one or two before, uh, very short ones, um, just where she you pay something and then you get a video showing you how to do whatever the project is. Uh, but this time I thought a lovely one for creating um, an advent calendar actually. <laughs> So, so I will be, uh, well I've already made a start on that and I will be showing you uh, that, although I might ac not actually use the advent calendar until next year because I think if I make it now and then put it away then I can get it out again next year and I'll have forgotten what I put in, all of the places. So yeah, so I'll, I shall look forward to sharing uh, that with you as well. So, oh, all those thank yous. And I think, what shall, what shall we do now? Let's do the prize draw for the, for the little giveaway. It was a very little giveaway, but um, it was following my, uh, again, my 200th podcast, which I had the theme of kindness, in case you didn't see it. And after that, I wish I'd found these things before, because that would have been perfect. But about a week after I'd done that podcast, I came across these beautiful um, window stickers, rainbow effect window stickers, where the sun shines through and puts rainbows on your wall. Uh, and they said, be kind to yourself. So here they are. So, uh, so I, I bought three extras to the one that I'd got for myself. <laughs> and then said that if you put the word surprise into the comments for that particular video where I showed these then I would do a little prize draw uh, and and come up with three names. So I have done that, I've used the YouTube random comment picker and just you know press the thing, the button <laughs> that says start three times to come up with three names. So I will show you that now. So well done to the three winners. Uh, your luck was in today. Just send me an email on mousymakespodcast at gmail.com and I will then send your window sticker to you. So well done and thank you for everybody who took part in that. Okay then, what now? I think let me just consult my list because I don't want to miss anything out. Oh, right, I think, oh, right, I think we're up to uh, going in the kitchen now. So, um, about once a month, I meet up with a lovely friend called Sylvia. And sometimes she comes here and sometimes we're at her house or sometimes we'll go to a tea room somewhere. But uh, I, I think it was the last time I was at her house, she'd made these most delicious uh, biscuits. Well, not quite biscuits, but sort of biscuits, uh, sweet things to eat. And so she very kindly gave me the recipe and I thought I would show you them because I enjoyed them so much. Uh, they are called Speculas Butter... No, no, that's not right. I don't know how to pronounce it really. Speculas Buttercook. Maybe that's roughly right. It's Dutch. <laughs> Sylvia it was is originally from the Netherlands, although she's lived here for a very, very long time. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to make these. And I thought I would include it in this sort of podcast before Christmas because it really was a very quick recipe and yet so tasty. And because you put these spices in, um, it, it's sort of Christmassy as well. And uh, I can highly recommend them. I, th I think it... Um, you could, would probably translate uh, them as a spicy, spicy butter shortbread, really. Yeah, I think that's what it what it would be. So anyway, come into the kitchen with me. Let's do some baking.
So if you fancy making those, uh, I'll put the recipe in the description box. And thank you again to my friend Sylvia for giving me the recipe. So that's great. So now I am just going to take you on an outing. A lovely day out that I had with my sister and I hardly ever get together with my sister. Uh, she doesn't live all that far away, but I don't know. We don't we don't often have time just the two of us together. I mean, we see each other at other times, but uh, and so we decided that we wanted to go to the Dolls House and Miniatures Fair in York. Neither of us had ever been to her Dolls House and Miniatures Fair before, and. Um, my sister has just got a very, very basic doll's house that she's going to start doing up. So she was interested in finding some things for that. And I just wanted to come and see all of the little things. <laughs> uh, and I did have another reason for uh, looking for things as well, but I'll tell you about that another time. So we went on the train to York and um, well, we got there not long after 10 o'clock, actually, when it opened and uh, we just had such a wonderful time. We, we, we were exhausted by the end of the time there, not particularly from the walking around looking at stalls, although it is quite tiring when you're slowly walking around looking at things, but it was just the, I don't know, you know when you're kind of constantly going into raptures about how cute something is, <laughs> you kind of expend a lot of emotional energy doing that. Yeah, but I don't know, by the time we'd been there for, how long were we there? About four hours. Uh, we were absolutely exhausted, but we, we did have a good time. So I'm going to show you around lots of the stalls. And then straight after that, I'm going to show you what my sister bought. And that was while we were on the train. So sorry, it's a bit wobbly because it was a train. <laughs> and then um, I'll show you what I bought as well. And then I'll come back and say goodbye.
So I hope you enjoyed seeing all those absolutely beautiful things. And uh, I, I do actually have a um, bit of shelving in my craft room over there that I've never shown you properly before. You might have glimpsed it in the background. It's an old printer's tray. It's got lots of tiny little holes in it and I'm gradually filling them up. So some of the things that I bought will go into there. Not everything, but one or two of the things will be in there. I'll I will show you that sometime. It's just I haven't shown it yet because it's not been very filled up. <laughs> when I got it, I thought I would have loads of tiny things already that would fit in, but I didn't. Anyway, I mustn't ramble on about that. I will show you another time. So, yeah, it's just about time for me to say goodbye for today. But uh, fingers crossed, I will be seeing you every day during December. And I can't say that I have ever yet done Vlogmas in the, I don't know, the proper way, should I say? I don't know. Well, I think to me what Vlogmas is, is somebody coming on and chatting every day and, and telling a bit about what they've been doing, you know, in that run up to Christmas. Uh, whereas the, all of the things I've done so far in December have been mostly things that I've been able to prepare in advance to show you on different days in December. So there's there's going to certainly be a large element of that this time again, but I'm hoping that I will be able to pop in in person as well. And even if it's not every day, then I am intending saying hello to you quite a few times <laughs> and telling you something about what I'm going to be showing you. I've got all sorts of things lined up and you know, part, part of me thinks, oh, there's so many people that do Vlogmas, you know, while and why will anybody want to watch mine, you know, and should I bother doing it? And then, like, well, actually, I've had a lot of fun putting all of these things together and doing activities and um, finding things I think you will enjoy um, hearing about or seeing. So, yeah, I think... Um, I decided oh, I'll do it anyway <laughs> uh, and hopefully there'll be a few of you at least that find the time in the run up to Christmas to, to come and join me. But until I do see you again, take great care of yourself, keep nice and busy and hopefully have some uh, relaxation time as well and I will see you again very soon. Okay then, bye!